by you and welcome back. It's time now to go to our blast from the past. As promised, we'll take you back to Westbury, Long Island, New York. It was opening night for one of the great racetracks in all of harness racing, Roosevelt Raceway. And this was the big opening night. You'll notice the voice of a very young Chris Shanko with amazing footage as well. Let's watch. This is the dream track that came true. This is Chris Shankel speaking to you from Westbury, Long Island, 40 minutes from the heart of downtown New York. Before you is the main entrance of the brand new Roosevelt Raceway, the racetrack that all America has been promising to build. You are looking up at the lighted glass of the clubhouse entrance facade. Behind this glass are five levels of unrivaled beauty, luxury, and comfort for your sporting convenience and pleasure. The entire area, clubhouse and grandstand, is glass enclosed. The Cloud Casino itself is an imaginatively conceived dining room for 1,250 people. Built on three tiers, with each table affording a commanding view of the track. And now, with pride, the track itself. No race has yet been run here, and it is already recognized as one of the world's best. A half mile long, modern to the smallest detail. You know, you talk about time going fast and flying by. It's amazing. The track has been shuttered for so long, but it's got such a rich history, and so many great races were contested at that truly great racetrack, Roosevelt Raceway. It is sorely missed. Okay, time now to go to the coach, E.B. Helm, and let's find out how he did last week, and more importantly, what he's looking forward to this week. Good morning, and welcome back to the coach's corner on a hot, hot weekend. We had two bets last week. One of them was a no bet up at Yonkers because they collapsed our horses down into a couple entry. Our second pick here at Chester Harris on Sunday, we got the 17 to 1 odds we were looking for with on the glass, but unfortunately she didn't deliver the goods. So we lost $40 for the weekend, taking our overall bankroll down to $940. I want to give a coach a shout out this week to Scotty Swanson, a regular viewer. He also dispenses beverages here at the Copper Mug on the second floor, the racing floor at Chester Harris. So thanks for watching, Scotty. This week we have two selections. We're going to stay here at Chester Harris on Sunday in the Ben Franklin Olympics, the ninth and the twelfth race. The ninth race we get the best horse in the world right now, Shark Gesture. But Harris is not paying big on trifecta, so all our bets are going to be exact as this week. So we're going to take Shark Gesture, the number four horse, $20 exact is on top of number one, Mr. Wiggles, number two, Atokia, number three, Hypnotic Blue Chip. And we're also going to take him on top in $10 exact is of the number five, three of spades, and the number six, Annie's Western Card. So that's all exact is with Shark Gesture. In the second Alim, race 12, we're going to go with Foiled again, the number six horse. We're going to wheel him on top in $10 exact is and then wheel him in second place with the other horses all on top of him in $5 exactus. So good luck on this hot weekend. Now let's take it back to Heather in the casino. Thanks, Evie. Last weekend at Goshen, New York's historic track, a field of Hall of Famers competed in a special race. Included in the star-studded field was Billy O'Donnell, Hervé Fillion, Cat Manzi, and other Hall of Famers. So who won? Mike Lachance. He ended up driving Iroquois Indian Magic to a 158 and 1 mile, taking two seconds off of that horse's lifetime mark. Mike says, quote, It was fun to see my friends again, but it was no big deal winning the race. I just beat up on a bunch of old guys. The Hoofbeats Photo Contest for 2010 is underway. There are three divisions, amateur, professional, and photo illustration. Now, of course, your photo has to be about this standard bread world. And if you win, your photo will be published in the Hoofbeats November issue. The deadline's September 1st. And if you have any questions, just email hoofbeats at ustrotting.com. Now, that's it for the news of the week, but that's not it for the show. When we return, we'll go in the bike for some of the best racing in the entire country. Stick around. Hi, and welcome.
Welcome back to PA Harness Week with Heather Moffitt and Steve Ross. It's time now to go in the bike. First stop, the $235,000 Titan Cup Final with every free-for-all trotter, the best of the best, the creme de la creme in this particular race. Lucky Jim with Andy Miller was the even money chalk. Enough talk who took the measure of Lucky Jim last week and paid 33 bucks. Curiously, was the two to one second choice of Ron Pierce, and Arch Madness was off at two to five in the prep, was a more sensible three to one in this seat, and here's that call. Lucky Jim, enough talk, slug it out toe to toe. Arch Madness appears poised here to tip three high, 123 into the stretch of the Titan Cup final. Lucky Jim's race to win or lose. Enough talk is giant first over, trying to wear him down and doing that. Enough talk on the outside, giant! Lucky Jim on the inside, like about out of hell, didn't have it, neither did Arch Madness, Buckeye St. Pat closing, enough talk! It was an epic battle between enough talk and Lucky Jim, neither one would give an inch, but it was enough talk at the very end, who got his nose up, well actually it was more like a half length, but the nose sounded better, but it was an epic battle, besting Lucky Jim, about a half length and 152 flat, Buckeye St. Pat closed well for third, and now we go to the Midwest. And with some racing action from there with free for allers, here's Heather. We're going to head out to Ohio. We've got the Battle of Lake Erie, $100,000 purse here. Foiled again is the better's choice with the newly inducted Hall of Famer. Dave Pallone is in the bike and Hypnotic Blue Chip, he's coming off a third place finish in the Stan Patch. Won the West, a giant pacer in here who actually had the fastest mile of 2009. Hypnotic Blue Chip and Jody Jameson, they have them by three. In their second is foiled again. On the outside, one the West. They're at the top of the stretch and down the lane they come in the Battle of Lake Erie. It's Hypnotic Blue Chip. Hypnotic Blue Chip was out and rolling, 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 all right? So he ends up just winning it in 149 and four. That mile by Hypnotic Blue Chip equals Northfield Park overall track record. <laughs> won the West, ended up taking second, and foiled again was third. Back to the Big M Friday night, the $80,000 Dickerson Cup, a historic series for three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. Holiday Road with Brian Sears. He was the even money chalk. Muscle mass of Ron Pierce was two to one. It turned out to be a match race between those two. Holiday Road battle to the wire with Muscle Massive, eking out a win, 152 and four. Make no mistake, both are serious trotters. Shame one had to lose. All right, and here I actually have the first elimination for this Yonkers trot that'll take place. The final will take place tonight, by the way. The heavy favorite is the entry of Hard Living, driven by Jimmy Tactor, and on the tab, driven by. David Miller and that Tactor trainer entry pulled off a one-two punch as Hard Living one and one fifty-nine and two with a wire-to-wire -wire effort and the stablemate on the tab was second. Now the second Yonkers try to limb. The Ray Schnitker trade entry of Flex the Muscle and Big Stick Lindy where the even money chalk break the bank was two to one. The Jimmy Tactor trained pair of Senior Glide and Stimulus went off the four to one third choice. Senior Glide with Cat Manzi wired one won it by a head over Take My Picture, who was only a head short of having his picture taken. Carnegie off at six to one with Stefan Bouchard was third. Time of the mile, one fifty eight and four. And Heather, we're out of time, darling. That's it. So we have to bid the folks adieu, although it sometimes gets messy. Wow. But until next week, same bad time, same bad channel. Have yourself a great week. Take care. Have a good. Explosive matter. Wins the colonial. Even